Hey there, Brian here at my bench, and uh, I want to share with you the progress on my 2007 Tuna Clipper kit I've been working on. It's a 15-year-old plastic model kit of an old-fashioned pole and line com commercial tuna fishing boat. And if you're new to my channel, I'm recording my journey into discovering tools and techniques I can use to build plastic model kits, and I'm having a lot of fun with this one, but it's definitely challenged some of my newly acquired modeling skills. Now, the kit says it's a skill level two, and so far I found assembling it to be fairly straightforward with how the parts fit together, but I have had challenges that, if I'm being honest, were mostly caused by me, but, but some of them were definitely in the design of the kit. So, and as I'm going through the kit, painting and assembling everything, I would appreciate any tool or technique tips you might have that uh, you think would be helpful. And also, this is the second video in the build series, and uh, I think there's going to be three, maybe four, before it's done. And uh, um, I'll, I'll put a link up in the corner for the first one. And uh, with that, uh, let's get into this. We're moving on to uh, the next, sort of the next stage of the build on the Tuna Clipper. Uh, we're going to start working on the upper deck. It's going to be... Uh, adding in some cleats and the winch up front. Um, still got some paint. Still have some things to paint. And um, there's a, a couple little boats. There's a, a, a skiff and a motorboat. This is, is this the motorboat? Yes, this is the motorboat. So we'll get that uh, put together and painted and then installed. That's the skiff which gets no that's the motorboat cover yeah so we put that over the motorboat if you want or I guess you could leave it off off and uh, I'm not adding the cover back yet this is the cover because because I am a great big old klutz and if that's there, it will get just shattered and broken off. So it's just it would just be in the way. And uh, I've got some deck rails to put in here. And yeah, so let's get to that. I'm purposely going to leave these on the sprue, paint them, and then touch them up after I've installed them. Because I will lose these if I don't. These will go, these will go all over the place and I'll never see them again. Well, this tape did better than the masking tape. It's still got a little spot there it can bow, but we're going to paint the top of that black. 
And see the benefit of this type of tape because you can see it's a little slight, ever so slightly transparent. So I've let everything sit for a day. It's the next morning because I was starting to get a little, I don't know what, but uh, I was chasing, I was chasing perfection and it was getting further and further away from me. So I paused and let everything just sit and dry, including the paint palette, which I probably shouldn't have done. But anyway, we're going to turn it around a little bit we'll come back and see if we can't uh, actually get these things touched up and then start putting them on the model I'm I'm actually enjoying these uh, Vallejo colors I, you know I, part of the part of the journey into my uh, model making is I don't want to spend money on things until I know I'm going to utilize them um, it's like you know, if I spend a bunch of money on paint and then suddenly lose interest in modeling, then I've got a bunch of paint and nowhere to put it. So i um, been adding to my collection as my interest grows and my, my desire to learn grows. So this is, uh, this is the next step was, uh, picking up some, uh, proper paints. These would go here and just poke through the hole and hang there but we're not going to put them there yet just because that sticking out will get broken off.
All right, so I painted these, supposed to be painted the color of the hull, but I don't know. It, it doesn't look like the paint went on them at all. And now I'm thinking I'd like them to be a little contrast a little more from the uh, from the hull. So we may do those. We may redo those in a light gray. Also looking here, that would mean we need to uh, also redo the um, top of the pilot house and the uh, uh, the railing around the top of the bridge. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. Get it in in the front, but it's not going in the back. We're going to have to do a surface glue there. I think. Now that I've got those precious, delicate little ladders on there. When the front of the deck is in line... The back is still is not dropping down into the thing, so I need to cut the back of this off right here so that it will set flush. See what did I tell you? I broke the ladder off.
So I'm going to do the lights. And for this, I'm going to mix um, like that 60-40 mm, red to clear orange. It's just to brighten the red up a little bit.
See, big old gorilla fingers. Mmm. Thank you so much for getting to the end of the video with me. If you like what you've seen, I would really appreciate it if you would consider hitting the like and subscribe button. The next video in the series will be hopefully me applying the rigging to the uh, to the model, and that video will be on the left. There's a playlist on the right, and there's the subscribe button right there in the middle. So thank you very much, and uh, go make something.